In the mid-1970s, the Swedish Air Force considered developing two new aircraft types, the Saab A-20 and the Saab 38, also known as the B-3LA. The A-20 was intended to be a development of the fighter version of Vighen, while the B-3LA was to be a new aircraft system, intended as a light attack aircraft and training aircraft. The purpose of the B-3LA was to replace the Saab 105 as a light attack and training aircraft in the mid-1980s. This was considered a better option than upgrading the existing Saab 105s, although more expensive. The Saab 105 was developed as a training aircraft, that could also be used as a light attack aircraft. The B-3LA was intended to be developed as a light attack aircraft, that could also be used as a training aircraft. This reversed approach would make it more effective in the attack role. The B-3LA was expected to be a comparatively cheap aircraft, and would have had similar flight characteristics as the Saab 29 Tunnen, and a slightly lower weapons capacity than the Vig Hen. It was intended for low-altitude operations, and would for instance be able to attack enemy troops. It was also supposed to have the ability to operate on primitive road bases, and to be transported in rough terrain and hidden in forest areas. In 1978, another new Swedish aircraft type was suggested, the multi-role Saab 39 Gripen. The Swedish armed forces could not afford to develop three different new aircraft systems, and in the spring of 1979, both the Saab A-20 and the B-3LA was cancelled in favor of the Gripen. No B-3LA prototype had been developed, but a mock-up had been constructed. The B-3LA project was partly a joint effort with Italian Air Mackey, who found a new partner in Brazilian Embraer. In 1984, the AMX International AMX flew for the first time. The AMX is largely based on the original B-3LA design.